Um, so I am in Sydney. Um, it's, a bit of, it's been a bit of a rainy morning, but I had a really nice um, sunny weekend when I got here, which was lovely. So I managed to get a bit of sun. Looking a bit pale still, but a bit better than I was. I did have a kind of cheeky spray tan before I left. Um, a tan lux one. Um, just because last year I came here, I was so pale, and next to my Australian friends, I was really, really jealous of their tans, so decided to nip that in the bud. Um, and I was also using the Astute Esoderm um, spray adapter sun thing, which wakes up the melanin in your skin. Um, so I feel like that's been helping. I'm quite pretty brown, just chilling on the sofa in my friend's house, um, catching up with some emails as it is a Monday, um, and I'm just getting ahead of myself because in the UK it's like 3 a.m. so no one's going to be replying to them for ages. Um, I've just got these earrings, these new Reliquia earrings. Super pretty. Oh, let's see if that can focus. How good are they? Um, the ones I wear every day, they're like little hoops are from the same brand and I love it. They're a really good um, Australian brand. So, and I feel like they're just the right size of hoop as well. Um, so I'm gonna be sharing, I used to live here, if you don't know, um, I'm gonna be sharing <clears throat> my stay a bit. I'm here for a wedding, for my friend Olive's wedding in Byron, and um, I'm coming to Sydney to catch up with some friends and um, try and get some sun, although it has been really stormy recently. Um, but I'm very happy that it's been stormy as well because obviously that helped put out the fires which were kind of raging at the beginning of the year. So all is well and good. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd do a little intro now and kind of um, start showing you my favourite places in Sydney or kind of what I'm going to get up to because I used to live here, I love coming here because um, it doesn't feel like, you know when you go somewhere new and you're like, oh I have to go see all these things every day and like take stuff off your list whereas because I used to live here I don't feel like pressure to go and do touristy stuff, I can actually just relax and hang out with my friends but also not be in London which is when I get... Um, like it doesn't feel like work in a way although I do have to do work um, but I just get really forgetful about it <laughs> um, but I'm gonna try and remember to do this kind of work I did have kind of the weekend off when I got here um, so yeah this is my vlog hope you enjoy these are these bamboo shorts that I actually got in Byron ages ago um, they're super soft and comfy just to sit in the house with and this is a nude label I want to say bra um, that I got from the We Are Womanhood online store which does really cool lingerie and this is my kind of just um, chilling out outfit I think it's a bit misty because I'm making some pasta so I must have <laughs> missed it up the mirror just ran to the beach to shoot some bit Yeah. So first Sunday here, a bit jet lagged, a bit tired, been out catching up with friends last night as well, which probably doesn't help. Um, but it's been lovely weather so far, but I think it's always a bit funny because it's like such different time zone to London that I get like um, really forgetful, weirdly, like I forget that like I don't have my to-do list in my, which is really lovely my work but then I also forget that I have like meetings I need to see people here as well so um, yeah it's been lovely weather but um, we kind of just had a nap this afternoon because I drank quite a lot of wine last night to be honest and I think I have vague jet lag as well on top of that um, but I um, we're just gonna go off for some more drinks now yeah killing it um, yeah hey Quite nice 
salty air and probably not brushing it at all it ends up like this um it's quite fun normally i like straighten like these bits in london also just had it up so it's a bit boring at the end um quite like it it's quite fun feels beachy also i feel like i've been using this it's just a new kind of wave spray and i feel like it's been giving me really nice waves um from the way um also been loving these on my skin super gentle and um soothing is the um origins essence the mushroom one and this is just so nice under makeup gives you like a really nice um natural glow that's not kind of like metallic um which is a new le blanc um eclair rose from chanel and i went to get my nails done yesterday thank god because i need them done for Otto's wedding um it was a different color to what i actually wanted but they look okay i think they'll do so i'm just heading to the beach like i keep saying that so i thought i'd actually walk and talk um really like being on the beach of course because it is technically um well holiday but um I always get quite wherever I am obviously I want to work and I want to like film this and I want to shoot stuff and I want to make like make the most of being away and like having a glorious um scenery to do it and lovely light which obviously I don't always get in London but it does stress me out quite a lot sometimes not stress me out but it's what I like think about um in terms of like making the most of my time here and um it was a bit dark but i'm about to go into the pool sun um making the most of my time somewhere um and i just like constantly think about what i want to be shooting and what i want to have like a shot list of like ideas for bits but obviously it doesn't always work out that way which is fine sometimes it's even better um can you see me but i also want to make sure that i like relax and like could have some downtime from work although that's like it's hard when you create for your job because that's all you really have to think about um so it does get tricky but i'm gonna try and just go and relax at the beach now so this is bondi and it is beautiful beautiful day i'm gonna go enjoy myself Love a good shadow session. Just off for some wine and sunset in Bondi.
got here yesterday. I'm staying with a friend um, again, and we are here. Um, well, I'm here for Olive's wedding, which is kind of the reason I'm in Australia, but I do tend to come kind of every year um, anyway. Um, it's been kind of rainy, but it's really high humidity here, um, so I'm just hoping that the weather is nice for Olive's wedding tomorrow. I'm sure whatever happens, it'll be the most beautiful and wonderful and amazing thing. <laughs> just preempting the thousands and thousands of photos I'm no doubt going to take of Olive and um, the venue too. Um, I've just been kind of chilling and reading my book today. I get really, I really want to like shoot some stuff. And I did a bit, but um, I, again, I was just letting myself relax, um, which I'm not very good at because I'm an absolute workaholic. Um, I'm wearing my Penny and Bennett shorts again, and this is a New Day uh, um, bra, which I really love. Sorry, I'm just eating some leftover chocolate cookie in my mouth. Um, <laughs> so yeah, Bahrain I've been before quite a few times, uh, mainly because Olive if, lives here and I come visit her. Um, normally about once a year um, and yeah I'm really excited for tomorrow um, I'm gonna try and do a little get ready with me in terms of the makeup that I use for the wedding um, if I have time and I remember in the morning but I will make sure that I do some bits I brought with me always love this um, body cream um, from Gallinari lovely probiotic one been loving the salicylic acid from um, Typologie, obviously to soothe my skin. Um, Mega Mushrooms Essence from Origins. This I hadn't used before, which is a clay mask from um, Charlotte Tilbury, but I've actually been really loving that. Um, using it a few days before um, the wedding just to get any um, toxins out of my skin, any build up out. Um, and also, I just used the Tata resurfacing mask to do. Kind of the same thing but with dead skin cells um just so my skin is really glowing and also just gave myself a little bit of a scar up with the ameliorate body exfoliant um i know it's, people always think it's crazy to scrub a tan but i think it gives you way more glowing skin i'd rather be a bit more glowy than kind of like dull tan kind of thing um, and it does actually help your tan because it helps it go deeper when it, you do get tan um i also bought with me the dr dennis gross the spotlight um this is the red um, LED um, just because I do get breakouts and this is a really good one to travel with a lot smaller and a lot cheaper as well than the normal face mask I would use <laughs> that looks really good with the headband thanks <laughs> <laughs> it's alpha chic mm -hmm. No, the light's better like, when you go this way. wedding now. I forgot to film putting my makeup on because we're too busy catching up but we're here and we're all in black or white. <laughs> Look at these leftover flowers for us how gorgeous. The battle of the brands. They're actually. Oh my god, they match. They do. Oh, there was a beautiful Prada bag on this wonderful Chanel towel. We're a confused bunch, clearly. <laughs> my print by Olive's cute little key and candle counter. That's me. Um, these guys don't have pancake day. I'm not sure why, because it's obviously the best weird made up holiday thing. Oh wait, no, I actually need to pancake. Um, 
So I'm making them some French crepes because yeah. that's what I'm about. And Olive's already on the Nutella. I don't bloody blame her. I'm probably about to join her pretty soon. <laughs> so, welcome to the cooking the show. Yes, honey. This is the big difference with crepes is that you gently melt the butter first. That's like what makes the biggest difference. Like this is really low. Maybe you can go on the eggs. Or on here. Or you still need to see the pancakes. Oh, perfect. The perfect cam. Perfect. Oh. Welcome to our cooking show. <laughs> It's called Nutella and Butter. A good thing. <laughs> <laughs> Raw um, vegan. Yeah, it's so healthy. You know us. Oh wow, those bananas are <laughs> really ripe. Yeah, so that's the trick. 30 grams, as my jealous telling me, of butter. I love you, Google with Nutella. Nice. <laughs> <Jealous. laughs> yeah, or is she? Yeah, but she'd be the best, you know, and everyone else yeah. is like, just a spoonful of oil. Like, no, French food needs butter. That's just the end of it. Sorry. So like gently, you don't want to make it like burn. Mm. That's why you put, I put it on Just three. Melt. Which I reckon will be good, hey? Do you want a bigger pan or do you cook one by one? One by one? They're not like little American ones. You have to like flip them. But is that like quite, is that like a like, stick? That's quite good. I think that's a good Yeah, size. but I think that's... Mmm. Mmm. It's very going be better than a fork. That's what you're doing. You're waiting for the butter to melt. Mm. <laughs> I need to leave some for the pancakes, but we're mm. I shouldn't have bought such a little mm. one. Fuck. That's my thing. I can't, I'm not into peanut butter. I hate the texture of it. Nutella, I, could eat, I eat a normal mm. pot. And then you have, you know, the ones that are like the shape of a glass. Then you have an extra glass. I don't mm. ever buy it. That's such a treat. Mm. No, I don't. Because then I eat the whole thing. Mm. Mm. Like, if I that's buy delicious. that or Cocoa Pops, like, that's all I'm eating until mm. it's finished. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so normally you have to use normal milk, but normal milk makes me really, oh shit, makes me really spotty, um, makes me really spotty so we're going to just use oat milk because oat milk is delicious. My teller says 300 milliliters. <laughs> this is great content, looks <laughs> Is that sharp? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh shit, I won't keep an eye on that. Perfect. This is how you want it. Not burnt. Okay, we're doing a cooking show, Laura. Yes. So this is... <laughs> <laughs> Laura's joined us now. <laughs> the batter, the butter is melting. The crepes will be coming soon. We have eaten half the pot of Nutella already, but that's fine. Who's been eating oh. it? <laughs> so I'm going to speak in French now because we're making crepes. It was requested. I said I would speak actual French, but then they didn't know what to pass me, so <laughs> we are just doing the accent instead. This is a ladle. I have got some butter in the ladle. Oh, that went a bit German. Um, wait, is that hot enough? Leave it a sec. Mm. Just gonna make them now, basically. The bun crepe. This is a good consistency. Mm. <laughs> Looks like no, no. Down they go. <laughs> she loves the camera. The camera loves her bank. <laughs> and legs. Get in there. Extra. So last night in Byron and the girls are allowing me to have a sunset beach finally. Yeah. Thanks girls. And we've dressed a little we'll bit extra. 
Yes, guys. You want it without the flash? I think I think the flash is nice. What are you reckon? I think I look really cool with the flash because it'll yeah. it's a bit obvious without. If at any point I have an Australian accent, Pardon? I'm sorry. <laughs> no, because I pick it up really easily. No, you don't. You sound no, so but English. yeah, but you think that, but then I'll listen to it back. Oh, oh, like, oh, oh, like, oh no! Oh, my. So sorry, I'm a sponge. I just want to fit in. Ah. Cheers. Doing. Hello. Now it's too dark. Can't get it right. Okay. Um, last morning in Byron, and we're going to what? Pickle. Pickle. Hello. On the beach. Wearing these summer. This summer bikini thing. I quite like it. It's quite nice and high waisted. Um, and I really like the green, even though I don't normally wear green, do I, Olive? <gasps> you didn't realise you're in green. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Olive's in red, so it's kind of same thing. <laughs> oh, this just makes my heart twitch. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pickle, you're going to come to you. Yes, you are. Oh, you like sunscreen? Your best sunscreen that time. Yeah, you got to protect that face. Why are you looking so young forever? Mm. She's already graying. <laughs> oh my god. Thank cool you. little English souls. They're not used to working working <laughs> walking on anything hard. Because they live in socks. Oh. Big girl! <laughs> Wrong way, babe. Dream mornings. Dogs and sunshine and beach. <laughs> oh, Pico. I am ready to go. Um, can't believe my time here has come to an end already. It's been it's been two weeks, so it's been a good amount of time, but it always goes so quickly when I'm catching up with friends and going between Bondi and Byron, but two great places to be. And it's a wonderful day today, um, as you can see. Um, yeah, it's been so nice, and I feel very refreshed, and just hope this vlog was fun, because I haven't put it together yet, so. Um, yeah, I hope it came out well. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do because I'm going to be posting lots more when I'm back as well as these kind of travel vlogs that I've been kind of doing to kind of test out how I go um, in the video world. Um, I'm going to do some home ones too and some beauty ones and all the ones at home. Um, so, thank you for watching. 